Hi, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome, uh, my name's Helen, I'm one of the Perfume Studio stylists and we are here this evening on this lovely Tuesday evening to go through our natural collection um, and sample our natural collection. Um, which I'm really excited about, one of our lovely, lovely sets that we have uh, for designing your own fragrance at home. So, uh, we have got it, in, or you may have it in two forms. You may have it that looking like this, which is one of our sets that you would have either purchased from our website or from one of our nationwide classes uh, directly. Or you may have received the same thing in a box like so. Uh, you may have purchased that through by gift, red letter days, um, Virgin, perhaps a smart box, so it may look like that. They're pretty much exactly the same thing. There's just one difference aside from the packaging, so I'll just show you that. So we'll open up this one first, uh, and inside you have got, um, when you take the tissue paper off, uh, full instructions which you can refer to at any time. Um, during this experience, if you're watching it live, or of course afterward, if you want to design your fragrance later, um, after you've watched this. Uh, and inside you have got um, six of our 9ml blends, uh, a 30ml glass perfume bottle as well, and pipettes and blotters to be able to sample and blend your fragrance. Um, so that is what you have in that collection. Um, in this one, you've got exactly the same thing. Uh, obviously, obviously the packaging is a little different, um, you will have received everything in a bubble wrap bag like so and inside you have the same 6ml blends, pipettes and blotters but you have five 6ml bottles, okay so that's the only difference, you've got one 30ml glass bottle in that collection or five 6ml bottles in this collection, okay. In here, you will also have received your full instruction uh, booklet as well, same as in the other set. Uh, you'll also have uh, in, with a, in with that a complement slip, and on the reverse is how to blend for these particular 6ml bottles, okay, and the maths on that, but I'll talk to you more about that as we go through the experience. So you should have that in there as well. Uh, I am going to use this collection, but I'm going to blend into one of our 6ml bottles today, uh, just so I don't use up our nice 30ml bottle. So I'm going to put that away just for now. And I suggest, if you haven't already, get a pen and paper and a calculator as well, which you'll need um, if you want to make any notes um, as we go through the experience. Um, so pen and paper, calculator, cup of tea, glass of wine, make yourself comfortable and we can get going. So the first thing we want to do is pull all the blends out and I'm going to put them in a particular order which is how I'm going to sample them uh, this evening. You don't have to do it this way uh, but there's method to, to my mad madness as they say. So uh, I'm going to start with our blend number 11, Woody. That's our first um, note uh, and then I'm going to move on to our blend number 12. This is Balsamic. Uh, we then have blends number one, citrus, uh, number two, green, number 15, herbal, and number 17, transparent. So those are our six blends. Um, please, if you're wondering about the numbers, why aren't they one, two, three, four, five, six, don't worry about that. Uh, we have a collection of 21 blends that we showcase um, when we do our nationwide classes or, or, or hen parties or corporate events. These home collections are a selection of those blends. So we have our natural collection. Uh, we have other collections, fresh, floral, exotic, men's, um, which you'll be able to view um, at any time. The videos for those as well, they will be available um, as and when those collections are, are, are shown. Okay, so let's put that to one side for a minute. So just to tell you a little bit about fragrance, it is made up of three parts. You have uh, top notes, middle notes and base notes and they all play a really important role within the fragrance. Uh, you have your base notes which are effectively the longevity of your perfume, so that really long lasting part. So what you can smell at the end of the day, what you can smell maybe the next morning, 
perhaps what you can uh, smell a few months later when you pull a scarf or coat out of your cupboard, you may be able to smell your fragrance on there. That will be the base notes, that really long lasting part of your perfume. Um, and our blends number 11, Woody, and 12, Balsamic are base notes. So we're going to start with those. You then have middle notes, and middle notes are effectively known as the heart notes of your fragrance, really that main body of your perfume. And you also, and they'll, they'll come through about an hour or so after spraying and last around about um, three, four, five, six hours. It depends exactly what's included in them. Uh, we also then have uh, top notes, and top notes are the first impression, that wow factor when you first spray a perfume. You think, wow, that's, that's fantastic. Um, so they're very important part because they're that first impression. Uh, but um, the very nature of top notes, the molecules in them means that they uh, dissipate very quickly so they don't last very long uh, so with top notes um, they are there they're that first impression uh, but uh, they will go after about 10 minutes half an hour hour or so which is why I like to do the top notes for at uh, last rather and our top notes we've got four in this natural collection we've got citrus uh, number one green uh, number two 15 herbal and 17 transparent so there are top notes. Now it's worth pointing out, we haven't got any um, official middle notes in this particular collection. That doesn't mean to say that there are no middle notes included. Each one of these blends is actually a fragrance in its own right, in its whole entirety. So our blend number 11, Woody, you could just wear it on its own. It's mainly base notes, but it also has top and middle notes in. Um, our middle notes, we haven't got any in this particular occasion, are mainly middle notes, but they have top and base notes in. And our top notes are citrus, green, herbal and transparent. They're mainly top notes, but they also have middle and base notes in. So you are getting a whole fragrance, even in just one bottle. There's 50 to 100 different ingredients in each individual bottle alone. So they are a perfume in their own right, but we want to mix it up, obviously, because that's the idea of creating something uh, special today. Okay, so what you want to do is uh, pull out your uh, blotters. You've got six all together in your set. So if you pull out your blotters, uh, and if you want to just separate each of those blotters, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and we want to make a note on each of these blotters, what blend they relate to, so that when we've dipped it and sniff it, we can look at it and go, oh yeah, that was number 11, Woody. So if you want to just write on the flat end, not the pointed end, because it's the pointed end that you're going to be smelling. So uh, uh, right on the flat end of the blotter, each of the blend numbers. So we're going to write on the first one, number 11, and just place that next to a bottle number 11, Woody. Uh, we're going to then move on to number 12, Balsamic, and just follow through with each of those. The next one we're going to sample is number one, um, our lovely citrus note, two green, so write two on the end of that one, 15 herbal, um, and 17 transparent and then you know which uh, blotter you have dipped and then again if you do this process again um, into another into another bottle um, you you've, can use the same blotter again so you don't cross contaminate and don't mix up it's the same with the uh, pipettes actually which we'll use to actually blend the fragrance at the end you want to make sure you perhaps get a little marker pen make a little note of the numbers on the pipette so that you don't cross contaminate um, those and end up putting a different pipette into a different bottle um, just a little little tip there so you don't get mixed up. Okay, so I'll give you a little description of each of the blends, uh, the key ingredients that are in each, each blend as well, and something we do just for a little bit of fun, and we do this in our nationwide classes and parties that we run, a little personality evocation, so what, what the wearer might be like if they like a particular blend. Okay, feel free at any point to direct any questions at all to our uh, website. Um, you can email us at info at perfumestudio.com. So please feel free to drop us a line um, and uh, we will get back to you um, as quickly as we can. If you have any questions at all now or after, afterward, after watching this. And as I said, don't forget everything is written in your instruction booklet, which you've received there. So it should all be pretty, pretty straightforward, but always available if you have any questions or you want to ask anything at all. So do get in touch. Okay, so we're going to smell the pointed end of the blotter. You don't want to let this touch your nose because you don't want this blotter on your skin and then affecting the next ones that you're going to be trying because you've got six different blends to try. So you want to smell the pointed end, you want to give it a little gentle waft in front of your nose, no need to do any huge ex inhaling or anything like that. A little gentle sniff in, taking the aroma, close your eyes if it helps you 
helps you uh, and decide whether you like it or not. It's as simple as that. And I'll give you a little bit of instructions and info on each of the blends as we go through. Okay, so if you want to take off the lid of the first one, you just want to dip a little bit of the blotter into the bottle, like so. Hopefully you can see that nice and clearly. Pop the lid back on just to avoid spilling. I have done it in the past, so take note and pop the lid back on. Um, okay, so we're going to smell this first one. It's our blend number 11, Woody. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love this one. Um, don't be influenced by me though. Go with your instincts. You'll know whether you like a blend or not. Okay. Um, and obviously we're really trying to create something a little bit unique, something different to what you might have in your bathroom cupboard already. So um, be experimental and I'm sure you'll come up with something fabulous at the end of this. Nobody's ever walked away with a bad perfume and you won't either. All these blends we've made as, uh, 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 as well to blend together with each other as, as they can. So you won't walk away with anything bad. You're only going to put those lovely blends together that you like. So this is number 11 Woody, our first base note, and this is packed full of sandalwood, lovely sandalwood and cedarwood. So have a smell and decide whether you, whether you like it or not. I think this one's gorgeous. Some people do say they find it quite um, on the more masculine side. I love wearing men's fragrance personally, but um, I think it's suitable for either women or men. You be the judge. Um, so a lovely harmony of sandalwood and cedarwood, which create a really intoxicating and sensual fragrance. Um, it's got the inclusion of creamy tonka, which is a bean, the tonka bean, uh, which adds a slightly sort of sweet, slightly milky, vanillic note to it um, for a very sophisticated blend. Absolutely gorgeous. So sandalwood, cedarwood, tonka, amber are the keynotes in here. Um, Really lovely. Similar fragrances for the for the women. Uh, Guerlain Samsara. There's an Isimiyaki, La Faux de Sea as well, if any of you are familiar with that. Uh, for the men, Gucci Rush, Rush for men uh, is a similar fragrance with woody base notes and wood and cedar with base notes. Really beautiful. So the wearer of this, if you do like it, is free-spirited, self-assured and an adventurous type of person. So that's good to know, isn't it? There we are. So that's our first blend, number 11, Woody. Uh, okay, so we're moving on to our second blend now. This is our second base note, and it's our blend number 12, Balsamic. You'll be delighted to hear this one does not smell like vinegar. Uh, balsamic is a perfumery term, which means sweet and sticky. So think of a, a balsamic glaze you might have on your salad or something like that. Uh, so yeah, number 12, Balsamic. Um, so those of you that like your sweeter perfumes, then you might like this. Give it a try and see what you think. Really lovely, really lovely. I'm not a huge fan of sweet fragrances, but sometimes when you blend this with perhaps something else coming up, it takes away the sweetness a little bit. It is quite sweet, this one, but you might like that. Go with your, go with your instincts. So a very sweet, delicious gourmand blend. It's got creamy vanilla. It's got explosions of white chocolate um, with lovely candied fruits that complete the palette. Really, really lovely um, balsamic note. Key ingredients in here, you've got pear, opopanax, which is a tree resin, opopanax, Google that if you're interested, uh, tonka, that same bean that we had in number 11, woody, um, and if you can smell it, a very popular flavour of ice cream, vanilla. Lots of vanilla in here as well, really beautiful. Um, similar fragrances, Hypnotic Poison by Dior, uh, Angel by Thierry Mugler, if you're familiar with that. Some of you might be, might be nodding. Um, for the men, there's Yves Saint Laurent, Kouros, there's Calvin Klein, Dark Obsession, that's got similar notes to it as well. Really, really lovely, sumptuous, elevates the mood. Sweet and fun, if you like this one. Number 12, Balsamic. When we are smelling these individually, and that's um, what I want you to do. But as we go through the experience, I'm going to guide you um, uh, when we smell to all of them to start trying them together. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to create a blend fan, um, which is how you'll start to build your fragrance, how it will start to construct. But let's smell them individually at the moment. So we're going to move on then to the first of our top notes. It's our blend number one, citrus. Really lovely blend. You know, this blend is... It goes really well with any of the blends. If you like this one, you could easily put this in and it won't take away from any of the blends. You could even do a double measure. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Um, so this is the first of our citrus notes. It's blend number one. Sorry, first of our top notes. Blend number one citrus. Really lovely. I love this one. Very summery. Um, so an array of sun-kissed citrus fruits combined together for a sparkling, fresh, zesty uh, and lovely sort of energising citrus blend. And it's rounded off with a touch of neroli. Neroli is, comes from extract of orange blossom, if you're not aware of that. Really beautiful top citrus note. Uh, very similar to the top notes in CK1, uh, if you are aware of that fragrance. 
really, really lovely. Energizing, uplifting, wholesome, really, really great blend. And easy going, the wear of this. If you like this one, you're easy going. Here we are. Now, before we try the next one, just worth pointing out that all of our fragrance blends, our 21 blends collection, are a combination of natural ingredients and synthetic ingredients. And uh, any good fragrance, any high-end fragrance, will be a combination of both naturals and synthetics, okay? The only blend that probably, I think, smells the most natural is this one, our blend number two, green, and yet this one is actually the most synthetic, which is very strange, because it really does smell the most natural. So it's our blend number two, green. I love this one. Dip your blotter in and have a smell and see what you think. Blend number two, green. I love it. Have a think what you might think of if I said to you green before you sniff it. So maybe um, cut grass, um, uh, aloe vera, uh, that green smell when you walk into a florist and that smell of, of cut stalks, that sort of lovely green, green note. Um, I love this. It's absolutely beautiful. Really gorgeous. In fact, I have had a, a customer once who had just a bottle of this. She walked away with just a bottle of this. So let me read you the description of this one. Uh, an interpretation of an afternoon cloudburst drenching citrusy lemon uh, and lush, freshly cut grasses. Um, a shower of blossoming hyacinth and baronia petals fused with soft petit grain uh, for a green floral note. Really lovely. Green tea, baronia, aloe vera. I don't know if any of you are familiar with Chanel 19. That has got a lot of green top notes in it. Maybe next time you're at the airport or Boots or Superdrug, wherever you get your fragrance, have a smell of Chanel 19 and see if you can pick up those lovely green top notes that are in there. Uh, for the men, Davidoff Good Life, that has a lot of green top notes to it. Um, if we've got any guys using this set today. Uh, really lovely, really, really lovely. Laid back and low key, the wear of this one. I always smell this, when I smell this one, green bananas, unripe green bananas. Um, some perfumers, if they describe a fragrance as green, they generally mean it's quite young, uh, it's immature, or it's, it's almost unripe. You think of red being ripe and green being unripe. Um, so you might want to maybe do just a half measure of this blend when you come to blending. I'll talk to you again about that towards the end. But if you love it, put it in as a whole measure. It's up to you. Perfume is very personal to you. You're wearing it, so it's what you like, and you put in whatever you like at the end of the day. Okay, let's move on to our next blend. It's our blend number 15, Herbal. Love this one. I'm quite a flat fan of the uh, slightly more masculine fragrances, so I'm really, I'm really quite keen on this one. But you, you have a smell and, and judge for yourselves. I think this one's gorgeous. Um, think of all those herbs in your kitchen cupboard that you've got at home. So, sage, thyme, basil, bergamot, and of course, and there's lots of it in here, lovely, lovely lavender. And lavender is actually huge in men's fragrance. Really, really big ingredient in men's fragrance. And I love it. I love lavender. Um, really lovely, lovely top note. So you've got fresh aromatic crushed herbs twisted with citrus and lavender notes and lovely lingering woody depths to it as well. Really beautiful. Um, so enjoy that one. I, I, I really like this one. Probably for the men, most similar fragrance, Dioro Sauvage. One of my, one of my favourites. Um, there's an Aqua de Palma Colonia, Joanna, ba uh, Joanna Bassett uh, Warm Herbal Citrus. Has a similar sort of herbally citrusy top notes to it. Really lovely. And you're outdoorsy and pragmatic if you like that one. There we are. Okay, now, don't be influenced by anybody. But this is one of my favourites. I love this. Um, it's number 17, Transparent. Remember I said these are standalone fragrances, so you could make something up with a bit of this or some of the other ones and use this one if you've got it left over on its own, it's up to you. Uh, but anyway, you can do that with any of those blends. Number 17, Transparent, see what you think, I, I love this one. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, a, a refreshing accord, it opens with zesty uh, lemon and crispy cassis, which is black currant. You've got an awakening splash of watermelon uh, and sea mist blend with precious woods and ambergris. Really, really beautiful blend. You've got lemon, black currant, watermelon, uh, ambergris, and there's a little bit of musk in there. Musk is a, a, another base note. Really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, I could wear it on its own, but we're gonna mix it up and try it with something else. Okay, 
be interested to see what you think. Let us let us know. Email in and let us know what you think of that one. Okay. Uh, Issy, Issy, uh, Odyssey for men, uh, Aqua di Gio for men, Eau de Bulgari, similar men's fragrances with that sort of transparent top note to them. Um, elegant, seductive and confident if you like this one. There you go, very nice. Okay, so we are actually blending, uh, smelling these individually, which is what I wanted you to do. Now, the way you build your fragrance um, is that you pick up and try the blotters together. You blend them out in what we would call a blend fan. Just fan them out like you would with a deck of cards, and you're going to smell those blends together. Now, it's really... Wow, that's good. Uh, it's really quite amazing how one blend smells on its own to how it smells with something else. So you might pick up a blend and say, yeah, I absolutely love that. And then you put it with your other blotters, and you think... Actually, I'm not quite sure if I like it with the other ones. Equally, there might be a blend that you smell and think, I'm not sure. I think I like it. I'm not sure. Let me just try it. And you try it with the other blends that you've got and you think, actually, yes, I love it. That's really good. I wasn't sure about it on its own, but I really like it with something else. So I will really encourage you to have a good play around before you blend anything because it's amazing even just taking one out, putting in another one, what a difference that can make and how that can completely change your fragrance. The combinations are absolutely endless, so really enjoy having a play around um, and seeing which, which blends that you like. Okay, so I'm just going to try um, blend number 11 Woody because I, I absolutely love that one. Um, and I'm going to try it with green. I'm quite a fan of the green. So let's see what we've, we've got going on there. Yeah, I like that. It's sort of almost a bit sort of a, a bit sort of slightly sharper. Um, I'm going to try transparent as well because I do love that blend. I see now that really freshens it up for me and absolutely lifts that and it it it, it sort of puts the green a little bit a little bit behind actually. If the green is not so prominent. That transparent for me it feels a little bit stronger. Now something you can do, um, and in the instruction booklet which is included in your uh, collection, um, is full instructions on how to blend and, and what, um, what measures you should use of each blend depending on the bottle size, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute, so have your calculators ready. But something else you can do is, um, if there's a blend that you love but you think it's quite strong and it's perhaps overpowering um, your other blends you can do a half measure now the way you do that i'm going to try it with the green is you put a little kink in your blotter like so and you have that at the back of your blend fan so as you can see if i turn sideways it's away from my nose so it's further away so it'll give you an idea of a half measure so if you want to do uh, include a blend but you want to include a little bit less of it you can do a half measure Equally, if there's a blend that you think, oh, I love it, I really want it to dominate and lead my fragrance, it's, it's, it's fabulous, just turn it around, and if you can see, it is now closer to my nose, so that's giving me an idea of a double measure. So you can do halves and doubles. Um, it's worth uh, investigating that. You may find that it, just by fine-tuning it a half or a double makes absolute perfect fragrance, but don't get too hung up on that. If it's too much, just stick to an equal measure of each. I can, it will be just fine. But it's just giving you that option if you really want to home in and fine-tune your fragrance. Okay, I'm going to do equal measures just for today. But the way you do this, and I've got my calculator and pencil and paper in front of me, um, you'll take the bottle size. In this instance, I am using one of our 6ml uh, bottles that will be included in the um, white boxed set that I showed you at the beginning. Um, and you take the bottle size, which is 6ml, so 6. Uh, I've got three whole measures. I've got number 11 woody, number 2 green, and number 17 transparent. So you take 6, don't need to do this here, but you divide it by three blends. And that gives you two mil. So each mil, each blend is two mil. So two mil of woody, two mil of green, and two mil of transparent. And that will fill up our six ml bottle. Okay. If you want to do a half measure, I'll just show you uh, halves and doubles quickly. Let's say we do a half of the green. You add each blend up as you've got it. So I've got a whole measure of transparent, so that's one. A whole measure of woody, so that's two. And half measure of green, so that's two and a half. So you take your six mil, you divide it by two and a half, 
that gives you 2.4. So each whole blend is 2.4, so 2.4 mil of 70 and 2.4 mil of woody. And the half blend, you just divide 2.4 by half, so divide it by 2, and that gives you 1.2. So it's 2.4, 2.4 and 1.2, which will add up to 6 ml. Equally, if you're doing a double measure, you've got one blend, two blends, three, four. So you're counting that double, one, two, and then three and four. So you take your 6 ml bottle, you divide it by four blends, and that gives you 1.5 ml. So you would have 1.5 ml of number 11, 1.5 ml of number 17, and then three mil, because you're timesing that by two, of the double measure. So hopefully that makes sense. If you need any clarification or anything you're not sure of, please just make sure you email us at www.perfumestudio.com, info at theperfumestudio.com, okay? Uh, and this calculation goes exactly the same for our 30 ml bottle. So if you've got a 30 ml bottle uh, and you've got, let's say for argument's sake, um, four blends. So you take your 30ml bottle, that's this lovely glass one here included in our set that I showed you earlier. Uh, you take 30ml and you divide it by four, because you've got four whole blends, 7.5ml. So each of the blends you choose would be 7.5ml. Okay, so just worth probably doing the maths and writing it all down before you start blending your fragrance so you know exactly what you're doing and what mill you've got in each. These bottles are 9ml bottles. So you've got 54 mils of fragrance altogether. Obviously you may use more of one and less of the other, depending on what you're blending. Uh, and these are replaceable. You can buy uh, more of these from our website, theperfumestudio.com. So if you want to do it again, you can, you can do that. Um, but your fragrance, um, we will encourage you to register it to our library. Uh, which you can do very easily once you've made your fragrance. You need to name it as well. So you need to think about a name and what you want to call it. We do lots of hem parties, so I'm sure you can imagine some of the names that come out there after a glass of fizz or two. Uh, but anything goes. People have called it after their pets, a place, a name, how it makes you feel. Anything goes. So you'll go to our website at the end. You'll click on... Uh, sign up and follow through from there it'll ask you if you've got a fragrance and you'll say yes and then go through from there fill in your fragrance name your blend details you'll get an e-certificate and you can reorder your fragrance anytime you want um, and so it's not just a one-off experience um, you can enjoy your fragrance over and over again which is fantastic okay right so i'm going to show you how to blend now just to remind you, I'm going with 2, 11 and 17. So I think it's probably worth just moving the bottles that you're not using to one side, just so you don't get uh, confused. Um, I'm doing these three and in equal measures. So I'm doing two mil of each. Now I'm not gonna be overly accurate for the purposes of this, because it doesn't matter, but two mil of each is what you're using. So I need three blotters. Don't forget to mark that not blotters, sorry, pipettes. Don't forget to mark the pipettes with a little marker pen, what blend you're using in each, so you don't cross-contaminate if you do this again. Uh, and take your bottle, take the lid off. Be careful not to spill it. Hopefully I won't do that now. Uh, and I'm going to take two mil of each. Now these pipettes are half mil. Um, so you need to do, if you're doing a two mil, you need to do it four times, half one, one and a half, two. Now squeeze the bulb at the top, before you then place it into the blend and draw up the perfume in one go. You want to then take it down to the half, uh, half mil mark. I wouldn't suggest squeezing down bit by bit because you're going to get air bubbles in your pipette. So sque squeeze the bulb, place it into the blend, draw up the blend and then squeeze it down in one go until you get to the top of that half mil mark. Okay, so I'm doing half, and one, one and a half, and two. Okay, I'm gonna place that next to that, that uh, blend just for now. I shall mark that up later. Obviously make sure you're on a nice flat surface while you're doing this, and put the lid back on as soon as you've taken up your blend so that you don't, uh, you reduce the risk of spilling anything. Okay, so I'm now doing my blend number two green. So it was woody I did first, I'm doing green now. So half one, and one and a half, and 
two. Close that down, put the lid back on there again. And then I'm doing blend number uh, 17, transparent. Obviously I'm doing this relatively quickly. I'm used to doing this. So just take your time um, and do it nice and, nice and slowly. Make sure you know exactly what you're doing before you start the blending process and then you won't get um, confused. Keep yourself and your blends nice and organized. Okay, so I've got that in here. So don't forget any time you can get in touch with us Info at theperfumestudio.com is our email address. It's the best way to reach us. Um, you can reach us via Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter as well. And all of those links are on our website. So when you've blended your fragrance, give it a really good shake. You want to mix up all those lovely blends that you've put together. And then sample and enjoy. Hopefully you haven't got any fragrance on tonight. So... Give that a little spray. Wow, absolutely stunning. I am delighted with that, I love it, it's fantastic. Now I've just got to think of a name, what I'm gonna call it. Okay, brilliant, lovely. Uh, so, enjoy. Uh, go off now and start playing around with your, your blotters um, if you've smelt them already during this experience. If not, go and when you're ready, go and start enjoying your, your blotters and, and each of the blends. Um, take your time, as I said, with regard to playing around with the blotters, choosing if you want half or double measure. Uh, make sure you write everything down before you blend. Um, and do go ahead and register your fragrance to our library. You can reorder any time you want. Uh, and if any of you've got any birthdays coming up or anything you want to send, to send a gift to, we've got not only our natural collection, we've got other collections available as well. Uh, and as I said, those videos will be available to view um, very soon. So thank you very much and we will see you soon. Bye for now.